Now, when it comes to cutting 4x4 posts for fences or whatever, chop saw is a really great tool. But a lot of times you don't want to carry one out to a job site or maybe you don't have one. Uh, so what you end up doing is marking both sides of the post, cutting one side and then cutting the other. And the results are usually less than stellar. Today what I want to do is show you a really simple system a buddy of mine who does fences for a living uses. And it is really easy. I just took three pieces of scrap plywood. Uh, I cut these on my table saw. If you don't have a table saw, yeah, check out my video, How to Build a Table Saw in 10 Minutes. I'll put a link in the description box. So all three pieces I cut are roughly six inches long. One's a little shorter. And one of them is the width or thickness of a 4x4 post. The other two are about five inches wide. Now I'm just creating the C, making sure I'm lining everything up really well. I added glue. Glue's not really necessary. It just makes me feel better. Came back and put some screws in. And that's going to really solid this whole thing up. Now after measuring out for the length I wanted, I make sure I measure a setback to uh, account for the distance from the bed of the saw to the saw blade and then clamp the jig in place. and then make your cut and that gives you a nice clean cut. Now I realize my saw blade is super dull so I'm actually going to change the saw blade right now and make another cut. Now the reason I made these things six inches long instead of just shorter is because if I want to cut from the other side of the bed I've got plenty of room for the motor for the saw to go on. And there you go, nice clean cuts every time. <laughs> 